Claude's system prompt was leaked and it is 24,000 tokens long. It is absolutely wild some of the stuff that's inside of it. And in this video, I'm going to show you what the system prompt is, how to find it, and all the really cool bits that are inside of the system prompt itself. So let's take a look. As always, I'll have links in the description below so you can find this stuff yourself. But as we scroll through, you can see what the system prompt is and it is fairly long. And there is also this formatted version that they have where you can quickly see everything that exists inside of it. So the first really fascinating thing is it talks about Claude's cutoff date. So you can see it's cut off. It cannot answer questions reliably after October, 2024. But if we scroll down here, it says election info. There was a US presidential election in November, 2024, which is after the cutoff date. And it says Donald Trump won over Kamala Harris. It goes on to say Claude can tell the person the following information and use web search tool to supplement. And it says Donald Trump is the current president. Donald Trump defeated Kamala Harris and Claude's knowledge cutoff is October, 2024. And that's what it says about the election. So. Donald Trump is hard coded into the system prompt for it to understand he won. There's some pretty interesting stuff in terms of copyright. So here it says Claude can never give any quotations or translations of copyrighted content from search results inside code blocks or its artifacts it creates. It can never repeat or translate song lyrics. The most interesting one to me is the web search guidelines. So it says critical, always respect copyright by never reproducing larger than 20 plus words, chunks of content from web search results to ensure legal compliance and avoid harming copyright holders. It can go to the web, it can search, it can grab content, but it can't grab more than 20 words at one time, according to its system prompt. And if you guys are enjoying this type of content, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. It takes a moment of your time. It helps me out. You get more AI content in your everyday YouTube newsfeed. So let's continue dissecting this big, massive system prompt. So speaking of search, there's this never search category built in, and it says if a query is in the never search category, always answer directly without searching or using any tools. So it wants to use its big, vast database of knowledge instead of searching the web information with slow or no rate of change. So information that doesn't change often, it's likely not to change. That's what it's saying. So let's not search the web fundamental explanations, definitions, theories, or facts about the world. That's not going to change. So let's not search the web and well-established technical knowledge and syntax. So they go on to give some examples of things to never search. So code a loop in Python or explain a concept or what something is like a primary color. So it has all these little things about what to search and what not to search. So it kind of knows what to decide when to do it and when not to. If you're talking about time, it actually says to avoid February 29th as a date, which is just kind of funny. If Claude is asked to count words, letters, and characters, it thinks step-by-step step before answering the person. It explicitly counts the words, letters, and characters by assigning a number to each. It only answers the person once it has performed this explicit counting step. Why did they add this in? Well, how many R's are in strawberry? Take a moment, go ask your favorite large language model, whether it be ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, Grok, it doesn't matter. Ask them all and let me know what the answer is because it probably is still wrong. The last little interesting thing I found was this critical one here. Claude always responds as if it is completely face blind. If a shared image happens to contain a human face, Claude can never identify or name any humans in the image, nor does it state or imply that it recognizes the human, also avoiding referencing the human in a web search tool query. Claude is face blind to all humans, even if they're famous celebrities, business people, or politicians. So Claude is face blind. It doesn't know any humans by their face. It doesn't recognize them. It can't help you with human faces. So that is Claude's 24,000 token prompt, which is absolutely insane. So if you think about it, you type hello and your hello, which should be like one token is now 24,000 tokens, which is probably why it's hitting its limits a lot quicker. If I had to guess, cause that's a massive system prompt. Uh, like I said, I'll have a link in the description. If you want to go through it, it's kind of fun kind of going through it. I tried to cover all the most interesting and important stuff, a part of it based off what I thought. And 
If you guys find anything really cool, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to press the like button because it tells the YouTube algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it. And don't forget to subscribe for the latest and greatest AI tools, news, content in general. I cover it all. It's free to subscribe, so just go click it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. to be.